everyone! Are you ready to go on a deep dive into one of our latest releases with me? In the October release notes video, Puff covered some exciting new releases, and today we're going to take a deeper look at the new support for SUM and AVERAGE operations in Cloud Firestore. From now on, you can use SUM and AVERAGE operators when querying data from Cloud Firestore, similar to the COUNT operator that we introduced last year. The SUM operator allows you to calculate the total of a set of values. This can be useful for a wide variety of tasks, such as calculating the total sales for a given product, the total number of customers in a database, or the total amount of inventory in hand. Average, on the other hand, allows you to calculate the average of a set of values. This can be useful in many different scenarios, such as calculating the average rating for your app in a store, the average time it takes to complete a task, and so on. Firestore can perform these aggregation operations on the server, which means you don't have to read all the documents to perform the calculation yourself on the client. And even better, Firestore can perform these aggregations by just reading values from the indexes that it keeps. That's much less work for us to execute than reading all the documents, and we pass those savings on to you, so you can perform these operations at a fraction of the cost of actually reading all those documents yourself. Now that you know how important these operators are, let's give them a try together. Suppose you have an app that allows users to purchase items. This is a very common scenario in games, where users often want to buy items that improve their experience, help with missions, or customize the characters. Let's see how you can get the total sales for the items sold in your app. First, you need to grab the collection in which these documents are stored. In this case, you want the collection that contains all the sales made in your app. Next, call Get Aggregate from Server. Inside this call, you need to specify the collection and the aggregation query you want to run, which in this case is SUM. When calling SUM, pass the field name as a parameter. This is the document field that contains the value to be added to the total SUM which in this case is the field price. Note that you need to assign the result of this call to a variable, for example, total sales. Once you have a snapshot, you can run snapshot.data and access the sum through the total sales variable, as you can see here. Great! Now that you know the total sales, let's see how you can get an average of the sales. This information can be very valuable in helping you understand how much, on average, users are willing to spend on each purchase. Once again, the first thing you need to do is grab the collection, then call Get Aggregate from Server. As we just saw, you need to specify the aggregation query you want to run, so this is where it starts to get different. This time, you need to call Average. Next, pass the field name as a parameter and assign the result to a variable, for example, Average Sales. Once the snapshot is ready, you can run snapshot.data and access the average of the sales made in your app through the average sales variable. The SUM and AVERAGE operators can also be used in conjunction with other operators to create more complex queries, where you can filter, group, and other data based on values stored in the document fields. Let's see an example of that. Suppose you want to find out the sum of all items purchased by players on iOS. To do this, you need to create a query. Let's call it iOS Players Query. This query requires two parameters the sales collection and the filter you want to apply. In this case, use WHERE to filter all documents where the field platform has the value iOS. Once you have this query, you can use it when calling GET aggregate from server. The rest remains the same. Call SUM, pass in the price field as a parameter, and assign the value to a variable, for example, iOS total sales. The last thing you need to do is call snapshot.data and access the total sum of sales made on iOS through the iOS total sales variable. And that's it! If you want to learn more about Firestore queries, take a look at our documentation to discover all the combinations you can make.